Welcome back to day three of the goal setting, five day goal setting challenge. The really important thing to remember is that it's all well and good having the goals in place, but if we don't have the activities and the volume of activity to achieve those goals, um, to back up the goals, then we're never going to achieve those goals anyway. So what I want you to do is to start to think about um, if we've chosen the goal, for example, which is to get 10 new clients within the next 12 months, what are all the activities which you've got to do in order to achieve um, those goals and also what volume of activity which you've got to do to get to those goals. One of the reasons why this is so important is because it's it's all well and good um, setting a goal like I want to get 10 clients or I will have 10 clients in the next um, 12 months but if we don't know how we're going to achieve that it doesn't cement anything up here. We have to know you know because I suppose what will happen is you could get to um, three months down the line or six or nine months down the line of your 12 months worth of um, goal setting um, or into that time period um, and then go oh well I've only got three clients um, I need to get another nine and you kind of um, rest on your laurels because you know you've got a bit more time um, in order to achieve those goals next thing you know you've got a month to go and you've only got five clients out of the 12 and you're panicking now because you haven't achieved your goal so it's really important that actually we start to break it down a little bit What's it gonna take, what activities is it gonna to take to get each one of those clients on board? Everybody hopefully knows my, um, my five C's model. It's upgraded now from the four C's, which is around content, conversations, coffee, and also uh, um, converting your clients and turning them into loyal customers. But what's really important is that we know um, the, the volume of activity it takes um, of each one of those small activities to achieve that one sale, getting that one extra client on board, and to measure it on a regular basis. So for example, if we want to get 10 new clients in the next 12 months, if we know that we have to sit um, for example, five consultations to get each one of those clients, we know that we've got to have 60 consultations over the course of the next year. That roughly equates to just over one consultation per week. So you can put a slot now, and we're going to talk about default diaries a bit later on, but you can put a slot into your diary on a weekly basis which says consultation. If you need more clients than that and more consultations than that, you have more consultations per week. If you need fewer than that, you can do one every fortnight or one every, one every three weeks or whatever it looks like. But, but this is where it gets, it's really important that you start to, um, to understand the mechanics of your business. Um, we can't just focus on the sale at the end of it because we will just wait and hope that it happens. We have to focus on what are called the lead indicators. So how much content you're putting out regularly, how many conversations you're having regularly, how many meetings, sales meetings you're having regularly, and are you hitting those metrics on a weekly and monthly basis? Because what will happen is if you reach a point where you stop hitting those metrics, all of a sudden um, you get um, uh, probably an uneasy feeling, oh, I've fallen behind on the consultations which I'm doing, so I need to up my game a bit. But rather than not finding that out until you know month 11 out of 12, you find out in month one or two that you need to up your game, you can adapt straight away and start to bring more clients into your business sooner, rather than waiting for the wheels to fall off. So that was day three of the five day goals challenge. Make sure you come back tomorrow. We're gonna to, going to be talking about setting some income based goals, uh, which is gonna revolve around how much you price your products at. Um, and I shall look forward to running through that. Pricing and numbers is one of my favorite topics to talk about. It fits in really nicely with how much activity you're doing and what your end goal is for the year ahead.